Hello everyone and welcome to Get Fit with Janice Now. I'm Janice and today I have with me Michelle Market. She's a wellness counselor mm -hmm. and she focuses on making sure you have high self-esteem and you eat right every day and you feel good about yourself. And she has offices in Herndon, Virginia and we're filming today in her private office. Now, how does one get enhanced self-esteem? Not just self-esteem, but to really boost yourself up. Like, oh, look in the mirror and say, God, I really look good today. Instead of saying, I don't look bad, <laughs> you know, yeah. look okay. Yeah. To really perk yourself up. Well, I think it's finding, again, it's what you focus on expands. So if you're finding things that you really like, let's say it's your eyes and just, wow, my eyes are really sparkling today. Mm -hmm. Or it's your smile, or it's just kind of the way you hold yourself up. Or, you know, for me, first thing in the morning, the, the one thing I do, I have my cup of coffee and I say, thank goodness for my butter toffee coffee. You know, mm -hmm. and just things that kind of, for me, are, again, self-care, things that kind of perk you up, things that kind of, a way that you know that kind of nourish you for mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. I, I like quiet and silence. Mm -hmm. My hot cup of coffee, have, starting the day a little slow and then exercise. So from an, an enhanced self-esteem, there's like the basics but then there's the, the above and beyond. So let's say basics are sleep, nutrition, and exercise. Mm -hmm. And let's say the boosters are journaling, gratitude, surrounding yourself with positive people, finding things that you enjoy and that you love, that you feel passionate about. Mm, to yes. sort of add to the boosters. To and, add. and also I think working on it on an ongoing basis. It, you, can't get, you can't just sort of stop working on it. I think it's always a work in progress. Now, when you go on vacation, you take like long walks in the early morning. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what you think about, what goes through your mind. Silence. Just the fact, because of when I'm on, you know, I'm on, you know, so whether it's as a mom or as a therapist or, you know, conducting a presentation. And I need time, and I've learned as I've gotten older, that I need time to be off. And so a lot of times these walks are just, um, it's just about taking in the scenery if I'm, I, I love nature, so if I get a chance to be outside and, you know, go out in the woods or if I'm at the beach and, and just to really kind of take in my surroundings, mm -hmm. the water, the sand, the feel on my toes, the seashells, because I think sometimes we're, it's like we're running a marathon in life, mm -hmm. and instead by taking a leisure walk, then we get to sort of look at the flower, and then we get to look at the sunshine, and you know, we get to sort of experience things on a more mindful well, level yes. than rushing through things. So. Now the questions you ask are, who am I, what is it that I need, who do I stand for, what do I value? Mm -hmm. Could you explain those four questions and why they're so important for you as a person to have self-esteem to answer? Those questions came about for me um, a couple of years ago when I just really was trying to solidify what I what I wanted to articulate to clients, even to myself. And I would say that to myself very often, especially when I was a new mom, about who am I, what's important to me? Um, because I really wanted to work on congruence and authenticity. I found that, you know, growing up as a kid, I was always trying to be, you know, okay, which group did I want to fit into or try to fit into? And as I've gotten older, it's getting more comfortable it's about getting comfortable in your skin. Mm -hmm. And that's why they, they say things like, if I only knew back then what I know now, that's, I think that's the reason, is because through life experiences, through um, kind of obstacles, is how we grow stronger mm -hmm. as a person. And so being able to sort of identify that, and I think also recognizing it, that it changes throughout the years. What you may have needed in your 20s is very different in your 30s, is very different in your 40s, it's very different in your 80s. Mm -hmm. And so it's recognizing, you know, what is it that I need right now? You know, we think about kind of career change and, and sort of what's important. You know, it's that idea of can I, can I practice what I preach? You know, mm -hmm. it's, what do I want to do? What do I, what do I enjoy? How do I enjoy spending mm -hmm. my time? Well, that's what I did. I went from a news reporter to a fitness instructor because I found that that was more conducive to my feelings of happiness. Yeah. And I wasn't surrounded by this negative newsroom all the time, with such negative news, wars and yes. destruction, you know. Yeah. And now I'm around a positive environment. So I guess it's also being around a positive environment. It's kind of a bad boss if you don't like right. your job. Right. Or if you're in a bad relationship. Whatever it is that'll 
get you out and say, uh, what do I value? What do I need? And that, that, those answers mm -hmm. will maybe extricate you from that situation. Right, and knowing that you're worth it to sort of make that change. I think we all think that change is, change is scary. Mm -hmm. And we get comfortable, even though we might be in situations that are not the best for us. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes recognizing that it might be uncomfortable to stay or keep doing what we're doing, and it's going to be uncomfortable to leave. However, if you can kind of fast forward a year later, think about how, how much better you'll be off mm -hmm. if you, you know, find a job that you really enjoy or you leave a real negative or abusive relationship. Or from a fitness regimen, if you start taking care of yourself mm -hmm. and, you know, f nourishing your body, right. listening to your needs, exercising, moving more. Right. Well, thank you so much, Michelle, for being with us today. Pleasure. It's a pleasure to be with you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, so you've been listening to Get Fit with Janice now, and uh, thanks for tuning in to the show today and learning about self esteem and food and exercise. And uh, be sure to look at all my fitness videos, and uh, we're going to get you to feel better about yourself. Bye bye. <laughs>